Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today is it's actually nighttime. I'm about to go to bed, but I'm opening these Amazon packages and just thought that I would share them with you guys. But it is August, August, what? It is April 17th. <laughs> I go in for my C-section on Friday if these contractions stop. I've been having contractions all day long, but they're not consistent enough and they're not painful enough for them to be active labor, so I'm not going in just yet um but if it gets to the point to where like i can't sleep through them or something i'm gonna have to go in but yeah so i'm gonna open these boxes and show you guys what i got and then i'm gonna shower and go to bed because i'm tired okay so i got these pillow covers the pillows are coming in tomorrow for the couch so these will be the new couch uh pillows, pillows yeah this will be the color of them we're gonna get rid of the old ones and then I got this big old box of breast milk storage bags. And we're gonna, I got to open the rest of these. Hold on. Bonnet. Bonnet. So I got some of these bonnets. These are the ones that have the tie on them. And I need these ones for when my hair is straight. Cause when my hair is straight, the other ones just fall out. So we got these just in time for me to sleep with. Until we go in the hospital, go to the hospital and until and while we're in the hospital. So I'm gonna open those tonight. And then I got these binkies for baby. I just thought that these were super cute. Also, these are a lot cheaper on Amazon than in store. All right, I also got this pack of storage bottles to put in the refrigerator just to store the milk right after I pump it. So before it goes in the freezer. And then I got bonnets for Brian, Bryson, and King. Ethan sleeps with a do-rag on, so. These are for Brian, Bryson, and King. All right, you guys, now for this box. So I got a flange sizing kit. So these are to measure my nipples to see what uh, size flange to put in my breast pump. So you just stick your nipple in the little hole and it'll tell you what. <laughs> and it'll tell you what um, size flange to use, which I have the flange kit. I believe it's this little box right here. I bought all the flanges. You're so cute when you smile with the snake sound. Smile. There you go. <laughs> yeah, so these are all different size um, flanges. Ooh. So bought a little box of those. Ethan, please stop. I can take my own stuff out. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And then I got these baby butt spatulas. These are to help, um, like if baby gets a diaper rash, you can put the diaper rash cream on this and just wipe it on their butt. So I'm gonna put a set of these in his diaper bag and then put a set of them on his diaper cart. I got these these are supposed to help with not getting mastitis when you pump or something in it to help your milk flow so i got these um basically booby massagers for pumping <laughs> for pumping so i need to see if i need to charge these or anything because i need to put these on the charger tonight if so um and then i got oh, oh my gosh this is a bathroom rug for our bathroom, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. And then I got this. This is a pitcher for whenever these are full I can and cold. So this one's gonna hold cold milk. This is gonna hold fresh milk that I put into the refrigerator that I can add to the cold milk before I put it into freezer bags. So milk storage. So we got tons of breast milk storage i'm going to try to be super successful at pumping and breastfeeding this time and so i got all the things to help me succeed but yeah i'm gonna clean up this mess and then get in the shower and then go to bed but i wanted to show you guys my amazon haul Put your shoes on if you're going to go to the bathroom. 
Alright you guys, it is our last day of me being a mom of four, so I'm spending some time with the boys. We're at Chick-fil-A, they're playing. I got them some little uh, coloring sheets right here. And then after this, we're gonna meet up with my sister and we're gonna go to Target. I was gonna take them to do something fun today, but um, like to the trampoline park or something, but they got in trouble yesterday. And I told them I wasn't gonna reward bad behavior, like taking them to the trampoline park and stuff. So, I know it sounds backwards, but believe me, they would much rather go to the trampoline park than what I am going to do. So when I'm gonna put my sister, we're gonna go to Target and I'm just gonna let everybody pick out a brand new toy and maybe one other thing and just let them be kids for our last mommy and Sunday as a mom of four. Cause I don't know when I'll be able, like, I don't know how adapting to going out with four and a newborn is going to be. So I don't know how often we'll be doing our Thursdays anymore, so. It's exciting, but also like, I'm so nervous. I feel like I'm having a baby for the first time all over again, cause it's been so long. So it's our last mommy and Sunday as a mom of four. Amen. Yeah, that, that, that's what you wanted. That's what you wanted, right? Okay. Oh. I just got deluxe with pepper jack. Good job. This has cinnamon in it. Because you can taste it. Got mac and cheese and chicken. Oh, look, the manager just came up to us and gave us some free kids' meals. What a blessing! Yay! Hey guys, hello! Share this to everyone you know. My name is Tiana. Is it good? Eat them. Mm. Spoon. It's so good of you, Mom. Hey, hi, how are you liking this? Mm. Good. Good. <laughs> Alright, you guys. We're at the show. Yeah, we were at Target. I let the boys pick out a toy. Oh, I told y'all what we were gonna do, but we also needed an air mattress for my mom's house. Then I got sheets for the air mattress because that'll be coming back to our house, obviously. So whenever we have guests that are more than that fit in the guest room, um, we can set this up in Brian and King's room and they can use these good sheets. You guys, this is our last errand before we... Yeah, they're in my purse. Before we drop the boys off and we go on our little date night for the last time for a little while. you guys we just well I just got done with my last chiropractor session for a while I did tell my chiropractor that I'm having a c-section but he said like if I'm still having problems with like my shoulders or my neck or anything like that I can still come in and get adjusted until you know my lower regions heal so that's that that was good to hear because my neck popped like crazy today and like the middle of my upper back popped like crazy so that is awesome the boys got adjusted today they will now be down to once a week also. Brian's getting his therapy right now. He's getting uh, some decompression done and I think some like deep tissue stimulation electrode thing. And then we will head home, get the boys stuff and then we will drop them off with my sister. And they are all ready to go. They're all excited to go. So, Yay! yeah. Time for mama, mama. my feet. 
best nail place in Lubbock. If you want to get your nails done. It's off of 114th and Quaker. you guys we are here I wore my shirt my sister made me we're here to have us a baby today gotta go get checked in so that way we can start all of my pre-op stuff Whew. if you ever have to have a c-section they're gonna give you these wipes you have to wipe your whole body with these do not wipe hard or they will dry out your skin to a point of making you want to cry because every inch of your body will itch. <laughs> That's my little tip for those. So, I'm getting ready now. All right, you guys, we are all prepped and good to start IVs and all that stuff. And let's we'll see if we can record it. Probably not. But yeah, we're here and good to go. Pretty much, almost, kind of. The goal is to have me back at 7.15, so it's already about to be six o'clock so hopefully they don't have trouble get, hopefully they don't have trouble getting my IV and stuff again and it'll all go smooth all right you guys all hooked up I have to have two IVs in case I need blood and I should be going back at in about 45 minutes or so maybe sooner so fingers crossed Still gotta get the epidural, and there's a nasty medicine that they make me drink. But other than that, I'm pretty prepped. All right, you guys, I read my read and write the word. I didn't write it yet. I'll write it when we get out of the OR. But I did read it, and then I read my daily devotional. I thought today's was actually really beautiful. It was talking about, let me see if I can get to the page. Okay, so I was talking about um, when Mary was pouring the oil on Jesus' feet and how, like, the aromas, like, filled up the room. And there was the question for today was just asking, like, does your love for Jesus fill up every room I'm in? And I was just like, you know what? I can't say that my love for Jesus fills up every room that I'm in. And so that's definitely something I want to start working on. I want it to be known when I walk in a room that I love Jesus. But I just took, just got some of my medicines that I need. It is 7.10. They're about to come to my epidural in a few minutes. They're prepping the OR now, and then we should be in there by 7.30. And we got a sleepy head. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm letting him sleep because I know after the C-section and everything, he's going to let me sleep. So, yeah, we will. I will see you guys Maybe in the OR, Brian vlogs for me. I'm not sure. Um, but for sure, there will be a baby within the next 20 minutes. Or not. Within the next, we'll say within the next two hours, there will be a baby. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. What are we going to do? Hey, let's start recording. All right. Let's start recording. Let's start recording. Let's start recording. Let's start recording. Oh, oh, baby! Oh, 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 oh. oh. Hey, look at that head of hair on it. Oh, she 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 told you you had a lot of hair on your eyes, so. No, it's yeah. too bright. Yeah. Can we try? Can we try one more time? 
Yeah, when you hear seven pounds, seven ounces, you don't think small. Nineteen and a half. How long were your kids? She was a little bigger than him, longer than him. Oh. But he weighed six ounces more than him. Oh. Hi, my baby. I can't wait to see our baby. Oh. <laughs> Go see him, baby. Mommy's okay. Getting ready to go home. 